public schools were closed again today in Baltimore, but it wasn't a snow day. The schools have been dealing with flooding and heating issues, playing <coughs> on decades of neglect and mismanagement. Errol Barnett is there. I'm here in school with my two coats because it's freezing. Outraged by the state of Frederick Douglass High School, teacher Karabu Buta posted these videos of buckled floors and burst pipes. There we go. See? It was almost as cold in there as it is out here right now. They flooded the first day and I moved to another class and then that class flooded. At this elementary school, former NFL linebacker and current teacher Aaron Maven asked his students how they were holding up. You got a cold? Baltimore students enjoyed 44 degree temperatures indoors before schools were closed yesterday and today. 60 of the city's 180 campuses reported weather related problems. It is the cumulative effect of frankly decades of underinvestment in urban school buildings. Dr. Sonia Santalisis is the CEO of Baltimore City Schools. Some of this is about also taking into account that young people need to be fed, that we have a lot of young people who are frankly safer in school than they are out. Since 2009, the school system has returned roughly $66 million in state funding for repairs. According to the Baltimore Sun, that's because contracts didn't comply with regulations. But the schools tell us that's misleading and say specific requests for school heating systems, including one for Douglas High, were deferred by the state. Amid all this, Utah says teachers have learned to be resilient. They do everything they can to make it better, and they try not to fuss. This is one of those situations where, where people shouldn't have fussed for a very long time. Now, this week's problems have created a new practice for Baltimore schools. Each campus will now have a daily temperature check, so decisions to close can be made on a case-by-case -case basis rather than at the district level. Jeff? Yeah.